Math guy Steve, let's try solving this equation. So how do we solve this is by, it's a quadratic equation, so we definitely want to try to get zero on one side, then either factor the other side, or use a quadratic formula. So here, uh, let's just try uh, factoring, okay? So if we get zero on one side, that'll be subtracting 110 from both sides. Okay, got it. All right, so that gives me what? X squared plus X minus 110 equals zero, okay? So we get zero on one side, then factor the other side. Now, when it's three terms like this and there's a one in front, typically I try what's called double bubble, okay? So we set up our double parentheses, double bubble, x and x, and then we need numbers that multiply to give me 110 and combine to give me this number in the middle, positive one, okay? So the numbers we would get is, what, 11 and 10, those work perfectly. Okay, positive 11 and negative 10, okay, got it. So we get zero on one side, factor the other side. Now I'll set each factor equal to zero, okay? So x plus 11 equals zero, and x minus 10 equals zero, okay? And I'll solve each of those separately, right? So here, subtracting 11, x equals negative 11, okay, perfect. And then adding 10 to both sides for this one, we get x equals positive 10, okay? So those will be our two solutions to this equation. Now I definitely wanna check, okay, by plugging it back in and making sure you get a true statement, okay? All right, always make sure you check. That's called a Nike step, check step, all right? Always remember, math is everywhere.